different teams. Uh, the Puff, the Puffs is pretty much the only living me brawler player out there. You know, For the most part, yeah. Uh, aside from him, it's just like you know people uh, with the pocket me brawlers if they ever get to use them. But he's tried and true me brawler. If the knees aren't legal, you won't see him at the event. That's how dedicated he is to his character. Which is scary because that means if you want practice against it, oh. you're going to have to go to the source. You're going to have to go to him directly. So because of that, there's going to be a lot of players in here that might not know exactly what me Brawler can uh, can exactly dish out. And they're not going to have the proper responses in a lot of situations. But we'll see if Black and Purple is the opposite of that. Because right now, he's off to a pretty good start with that box. Yeah, absolutely. He's starting off early with uh, the bread and butter up tilts. Trying to use that and that nice dash attack to apply more pressure. Oh, he, he got grabbed, right? But ooh, he's carrying to the side of the stage, and he is not, he's not out of the doghouse yet. Nope. Oh, he's whoa. a side B, but he did turn around with the grab. Nice input there. And he's finally going to get back to center stage, and just like that, Puster has stage control once again, flipping around him. You see, that's not something anyone will be ready for exactly. unless you have gone directly to the source, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like a, a, a slight diddy play with the side B. Right. Except he gets to c continuously do it over and over. Ooh, that, that string by oh. Black Purple. Yeah, he knows what's up. Oh, that's not going to do much. You see how far I sent him from the other side of the from stage? From the other that side of the stage. Much. But then again, I don't think uh, Black Purple uh, DI did that right. He went very lateral. Yeah, something I, I've gotten from... Uh, oh, tried to go for the double jab grab, but for the second jab sent the pulse a little too high. But something I've gotten from another local uh, Mii Brawler player in Esquire is whenever you get hit by Hurricane Kick, the optimal DI is towards center stage. Like yes. you, oh, you always want to DI towards the center of the stage, depending on which way you're facing. And now we're pretty much to show your longevity for the longest. Yeah, you'll fly at a nice 45 degree angle. You won't fly too vertically or too laterally. That's where you always really want to go. The neutral area is going to take it. Wow, neutral 90 percent rage, and you know, Fox being one of the lighter characters in the game that's actually going to do it from center stage. I'll be honest with you, I forgot that neutral air can actually kill from uh, me brawling. Now the 40 does 15. That's that's pretty good damage. Yeah. Let's see what he got. Uh, oh, uh, uh, purple optics. Like, it's strange. He opted to kind of like keep his distance on the edge guard. Oh, the vortex. That looked like a, a tiny yeah. little vortex right there. No matter what you do, I'm going to get you. Oh, he, he does not. Oh, oh goes the re grab, but he doesn't really. Downhill oh, hurricane kick. It. Wow. That takes it. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. As soon as black purple let go of the ledge and, you know, didn't get back on the stage, he said, okay, as soon as you grab ledge, I know exactly what punish to dish out. And I didn't even know down till into Hurricane Kick was a thing. Uh, at the very least, on on a character with a weight class like Fox. Yeah, and fast fall speed like that. If it was if it was like a Rosen, probably she would have popped up too high. Right. So hey, he's taking but advantage still, of the matchup. Still, he, he just knew. Like like he, he has probably tried that setup on a multitude of characters in training mode and then applied it here, and you know it, it got him the game. This guy is a master of this character. Let's see if Black Purple can spin it around. I mean, honestly, he was hanging in there just fine until he made that grave, grave mistake. Oh, yeah, man. He was doing good boxing. He was uh, getting out and getting in. He was applying pressure with the dash tag. He's kind of breaking it. Why they just... Wow, a little bit of DBZ there action there. Yeah, they're brawling right there. Clash and forth. But yeah, like, like you said, he was doing just fine. Yeah, he was getting in and out. He was invading the poster space with the dash tag. He's making good use of the, uh, the up air. And the, you know, the Nair, like you saw just then. Right but then the Buster took the first knock, and that pretty much just sealed the game. And that's going to take it, I believe. Not, oh, see, he had the good DI. He DI'd to the center stage. Also, Battlefield. Battlefield, yeah, Battlefield very large blast. So I, I like the pick there. Oh, that, I, okay, that was, I have seen him do that. That is a confirm in the certain percent window where he can get the auto cancel of the, uh, the faint jump and then just combo with the hurricane kick. So, so safe. Smooth and slick with this character, man. It's like on ice. All right, just kind of using that uh, that reflector to solve uh, momentum. Uh, I was, uh, I thought he was going to out smash that, but I, I guess he didn't trust that. Fox at 122 off stage, not good. Oh, oh the no, onslaught let him somehow go free for that. Yeah, I don't know why neither of them got hit with the moves that were thrown out just then, but hey, we're also alive here. Yeah, yeah right, they'll both through. take that, you know. Right. All right, purple, looking away to come back. This is oh, not going to be. Oh, he can still good. survive that. Yeah, he's back on stage. Now Puffer's on the ledge because he messed up his edge guard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Purple yeah. just smashing on 4 2. I don't know what happened there. It's like I, a ghost took over his pad. Which yeah, is man. Plan. Yeah, someone, his little brother took the controller. <laughs> All right, Purple looking for something. He's, he's just prodding. He's just, he's just dash attacking, shielding. He just wants to pop him up. Ooh, yeah, reaching. Bad, bad uh, uh, up smash right there. He wanted to get the stock off, but I don't even think this was the, that was the percent where it would have killed. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, I think he's playing a little bit uh, frenetic. He, yeah. he's, he's feeling a little nervous probably about the situation. Oh, both players uh, extending uh, over and under each other respectively. Oh, 
love that auto cancel auto down cancel it. down it, and then he top, he empty hops onto the top platform and grabs him for the down throw. That was great stuff from Puffs. Sure. Grapple racking up some damage here. Still has the Puffs on his first stock. He needs to he needs to change up his game plan. Put away the dash attacks for a while. Maybe start throwing out some space back airs and stuff like that. Yeah, I also like to see him grab more because everyone at this level knows that. Uh, you know, the optimal play against Fox is just, it's just a shield. If you hold shield, Fox can't really kill you from a throw. He just kind of has the, at most he has like a throw to, oh my god! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> the puffs there laughing that off. Even Black Rebel laughed that off. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got, you got me. Oh! He literally, he literally hit him with the Bane, man. He broke his oh. spine with that okay. punch. Okay, um... Damn! That was an X-ray. Yeah, like, that was! Straight up! <laughs> He just zoomed in on the fist. Fox Poor like, Fox. <laughs> Man. Damn. I love seeing that move hit. Oh, it's just, it pauses. Bro, he got hit so hard, I forgot I was talking about.